Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bright Torn, and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing as Great Britain. So, before we get started, you'll notice that this is releasing at the old time uh, since the CK3 series is going to be moving to an every other day series just like this because I just don't have the time to be doing uh, nine videos per week, unfortunately. So, with that series also on an every other day schedule, this one can now release at the normal time, you know, which is between 6 to 8 a.m. typically, uh, mountain time. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into today's episode. The first thing I want to do is go ahead and take a look at our operatives. Because we took Ottawa, this operator now isn't doing anything. And uh, rather than continuing to increase intel, we're going to go ahead and start doing some propaganda here, guys. To try and get the Canadians. We can't do it there. Oh, we don't have any intel here. That's a problem. So we're going to have to move somebody else over there. Probably the one in Japan. Yeah, let's move the operative in Japan over here. And that means we won't be able to move her to propaganda until after we get uh, a larger network here. All right, well, that's fine. We'll just uh, let her sit there doing the counter intel for just uh, a little while until we get that done. Uh, but that should help us get the Canadians capitulated a little bit quicker. Because while they're pretty close to capitulation, the problem is that there's not really very many victory points left. You got Toronto over here for 10, so that's a key one to get. Uh, but you sweep through here, and that's not anywhere near enough. Typically, you got to go all the way up to about here or so if you're not getting Vancouver, uh, which is worth 15 points. And so, yeah, we're going to have to get much, much further over here, which can cause problems because this is stretching the front out with the Americans. Uh, every every province we take on their border is a province we have to defend. Uh, so it's going to be difficult uh, because we just don't have enough troops over here. Uh, so I would like to get them to capitulate sooner, even if that does result in all that territory then going to the Americans uh, because we won't be able to occupy it. That's fine. We don't have to take that territory to capitulate, capitulate the Americans, so it's not that big of an issue. And that'll distract them as well. They'll go conquer this territory over here, and uh, maybe they'll pull some troops off of other fronts. Now, the other thing we're going to do here is spend some of that political power that we have available. And we're just going to do the resource decisions down here. Uh, we can always use more oil, as you can see, and a little bit more tungsten would be helpful as well. I think we're good on steel and rubber. We'll take a look at those. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get these three for now since I already know that we're short on those. So we'll get those three and then as far as these resources go, let's just take a look. Uh, rubber is at 49, so it's okay for right now. Uh, steel is pretty good, so we're not too worried about that. Yeah, I think we're good for right now, guys. We might do the, the rubber one in time. You know, I suppose there's not a whole lot to do. With our pillar power, I mean, we have some things we can we can use it for, but why not use it for this? Let's get the rubber going. All right, excellent. So that'll give us some more resources. Uh, the oil is the main one that we'll need now because I don't really want to have to trade for that if we can avoid it. I'd rather use the civilian factories to get more resources. I think that'd be more helpful. All right, so we started the invasion of China last episode, and frankly, you know, we're having trouble in a lot of places. Uh, even if we are having a lot of victories, uh, due to the shortage of divisions. You know, we're playing as a British, we focus pretty heavily on the, the fleet for a while there, and thus our uh, army is definitely lacking. We don't have anywhere near the number of divisions that the other countries do. With 122, you can see we have a lot less than Germany, uh, even less than uh, Poland and Romania. Uh, the Russians might have more divisions than us, and they've been stomped all over. Uh, you know, we have more divisions than Canada, of course, but Japan has more divisions than we do, I think. China definitely does. The United States has, you know, maybe two to three times the number of divisions we have. So, yeah, we're definitely very short on divisions. Now, we're working on uh, improving that. We're building, like, a whole army worth of divisions right now, a little bit more than that, actually. And so that'll help. Uh, but, yeah, we definitely need more divisions, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and let these units move. Also, let the ships move because I've made some adjustments to the fleet. And it's a bummer this guy wasn't able to get over to here. Now, uh, we could just let him move, but we'll let him defend that territory, I think. Uh, looks like we will be able to get over here because they're going to try and take that province. Got it. Well, in that case, we should probably go ahead and retreat this guy. Maybe. It doesn't look like we can retreat him. Huh. Huh. Says there are no available land route to this province. I'm pretty sure there is. <laughs> That's so strange. Okay. Huh. Alright, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's what's going on there. Alright, well we get here in five hours, so we might be able to get to that mountain province uh, before that guy. Okay, I'm not entirely sure why they won't let me retreat here. 
Yeah, it's it's something's got changed in this patch, guys. Uh, when it comes to moving units, you know who, you know, are being attacked in this case, or you know if we already have a movement order, I've definitely been noticing some weird changes. Uh, so this guy's gonna get here in 14 hours. I doubt we'll beat him. Nope. So we won't be able to get him cut off. In fact, it looks like we might get cut off. Uh, though we do have some time here. Uh, but yeah, you can see this guy's able to retreat. Maybe because he already had an order or something. I'm not entirely sure why it wouldn't let us do that. Yeah, so we wouldn't be able to get over here. Hmm. It might be better since we have a Chinese division here. To just go and attack across here. Let this guy retreat. Yeah, and then I'll lock him down, hopefully. Now, can we get there before this guy? Oh, yes, that's right, 14 hours. Huh. We'll just have to fight him there, see what happens. Maybe we'll be able to beat him. It is in forest, but that's not that difficult of terrain to go through. All right, let's see what's happening over here. We are being attacked by the Americans. This is going to be a huge problem. Uh, yeah, we might likely uh, have some serious issues here. We'll probably just go ahead and retreat this guy. We could easily sweep across here. The problem is the Americans. I think we're going to need more divisions to get this done, guys. Uh, let's go and do an attack across here. And we'll support this one. Probably not going to win there with the two divisions here, even though one's a tank. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to win there. Maybe. We could try it. And it'd probably be better to attack there, but I don't think we'll have the divisions to do that. Okay, we might be able to win that. It's not, you know, a good uh, battle there, but it's green, so we might win it. All right, so we do have some free dockyards here. I'm guessing we probably finished up one of these ships. All right, so we have our new battleship and carry. Let me just see exactly what we built over here so I know. It's a light cruiser. Uh, so remember, we had set these all to only build one more. So that was the attack cruiser because we're going to make some adjustments to them. And you know, guys, I'm kind of thinking that these might be the last ships we get. We might not get the 1944 ships. I don't think there's going to be any point. It's a still another year before we get there. By then, everybody else's fleet will be destroyed. So I don't really see any reason to, to bother researching or constructing the 1944 ships. Because, uh, yeah, we've, we've basically dealt with the American fleet. Uh, we'll have them dealt with by that point. So these might be the last ships that we make. Now, as far as what we need to do here, um, not anti-air, we need to do radar. And I want to say that might be it. Yeah, I believe that's it. Yeah, because we don't have any uh, better guns here or anything like that. Oops, that wouldn't have been the right location. That would have been over here. Yeah, I think that's it, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. And then get them out there. And it's just essentially new radar is all we're, we're putting on these ships here. Just going to put them right above the support cruisers, give them the full dockyards here. Uh, though it looks like we don't have enough for them. A lot of those are repairing. Okay, and this is what we're going to do. Let's pull from the submarines. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, so with that light cruiser we just finished constructing, we also have a, a submarine, but I don't think we have anywhere to put them just yet. Uh, but with the light cruiser that we just got, we'll probably go ahead and put them over... I'm all messed up on where the, the fleets are because I did make uh, a bunch of adjustments here. Uh, let's go and move these guys like so. So yeah, I'm, I'm redesigning the fleets a bit, making a lot of changes right now. Uh, so I'm kind of confused what all we have here. Uh, let's put these guys over here and then that was a attack cruisers. We'll take out one of the old attack cruisers here. And then move him over, probably over to this one in Asia. I mean, we're over, we're over here doing all these rotations with the the ships at this point it's not as necessary we'll put this guy over here we're rebuilding this uh patrol fleet i guess this might be a new patrol fleet and they got a bunch of ships going to them so you can see that the the task force look quite a bit different uh, as far as like the numbers and, and what ships are there made some big adjustments to them and all the ships are still kind of moving around uh, i did sink a japanese light cruiser there all right so the situation here it's not good. We're gonna go ahead and retreat from here. I don't see any reason to try and keep that. Uh, they're gonna let them have that there. I'm not entirely sure where these divisions are, but let's just put them over here. And this guy can come over this way. We're just barely holding out there. Let's go and move this guy over here, make sure we don't lose the city there. We could always try and just push him back here. 
I suppose that's... Looks like it should work. So yeah, we'll just push them back there while we treat from here. Try and get them away from the support so they can't attack us there anymore. But uh, yeah, these invasions are definitely having some issues here. Uh, we should be able to wipe this guy out though. Uh, we got this guy over here, but I don't think he'll be able to get over to the Mountain Province in time. We'll get there in 15 hours. Again, this guy just can't retreat. And that's the problem. Yeah, 15 hours just won't be quick enough, so they will end up getting this guy reconnected. Yeah, it's such a bummer that this just wouldn't work. Now he's retreating. Maybe I needed to cancel the move order first. Okay, so this is what we'll do. Let's attack there just to lock them down and maybe he can retreat from there. We'll just give up this one province. Just trying to keep these guys uh, disconnected so that we can get them destroyed. Uh, over here we are having a fight there. Okay. Still fighting across the river here while this unit retreats. Once he gets retreated, then they'll be uh, uh, defended from being cut off. And thus we can go ahead and cancel that. Now we could go over here and grab this province. It does leave this one open though. I think it might be okay. Now, of course, we need more troops over here. We just need more troops in general. And I'd really like to advance up along here. Uh, but yeah, there's just no, no openings to do that. Is there any rails over here? Because that'd be really helpful. There is. Okay, so we, we sent this gun over here, but where we need it is over here. Could bring it over here as well, but I'm a little bit more worried about that situation over there. And I don't think it's all that stable. So let's bring the railroad gun over here. I think that'd be helpful. At the very least, you could put him into this city and he can help out with all these, these battles that we're in. All right, so just trying to get this guy here destroyed while he retreats. He should be over there in a matter of hours. Yeah, it looks like we'll get there in time. Now, how well he'll defend there, I can't say. Looks like he's winning right now. Let's go and pull this back and then we'll bring this unit over here. Just trying to get that unit destroyed. We are winning over here as well, and it looks like we're getting some support, too. All right, so he's going to come over here, grab that province. Let's go ahead and dip on back over here to the Caribbean. All right, so we're still getting those troops over there, uh, so they got to get their organization back up before we do that next invasion. And then we have all these troops that are freed up. Uh, what we're going to do is just have them defend the, the ports here. I don't know if they'll they'll attack us over here or not. I guess we'll we'll find out. Uh, I don't know if they'll be able to launch any more invasions at this point. The Americans are in trouble in the seas, and they're not in a good situation here. All right, so this guy did get defeated. The Americans are gonna push us back now. I'm wondering if they have military access with the Canadians. It looks like they do not. So. That means that this will go into American hands. Any territory they take from Canada will go into American hands rather than Canada. Which is kind of a good thing, because that means that uh, if we take territory from Canada and then Americans take it back, uh, then that still results in them, you know, capitulating eventually. Uh, so, you know, we don't want the Americans getting their hands on any additional territory, but we do want to get Canada defeated because that's that one faction. All right, so these guys are going to... All these provinces are defended, so let's stay over here. And he's coming over this way. Now, we could push forward here, and I don't really want to stretch the, the front any at all because we can barely defend it as it is, so let's just stay entrenched here. But yeah, I don't like not taking advantage of a of opportunity here to push the front forward. You no, know, we can always retreat. Order. Yeah, we can just retreat if need be. Uh, we'll let those guys move, and then we'll take that province. Yeah, I don't want to give them a chance to be pulling divisions off the front, not defending their territory. Uh, this guy's exposed. Oh, no, he's not. I thought that connected. I was going to say he could be cut off there. Uh, but, yeah, we want him to defend here because that's a mountain province. We are still winning there, defending just fine here, and moving towards that province with success. This is not being defended by the Chinese because this is not part of their faction. Uh, Japan holds this, the Commonwealth. Uh, their faction is in control of that. All right, so we are winning here, pushing them back. Uh, it looks like they are now moving these divisions into here. Uh, we don't actually need to defend that province there. I mean, I guess we could. Let me see how long until 
they get there. Uh, 16 hours, when's this tank get there? He could get there first. Okay, yeah, we'll go and move these troops over here. Why not? Uh, let's go make sure this guy's over here on this front. All right, so that's looking good. And uh, us pushing the front forward here did kind of wake him up. Let's go. So let's go and stop that. Uh, but yeah, we can go and sweep over here and take these provinces. All right, so we're already defending there, but you notice they uh, are moving this way. Uh, let's go ahead and just attack this guy because he's really weak. And uh, the Germans are kind of helping us defend here. And it's nice that we do have the Germans over here. All right, let's go ahead and help out with this. Try and cut those two divisions off because this guy here is set to lose. In fact, let's go and move him over there and just focus on defense here. And then we'll destroy those two divisions. But again, this is kind of the key here to winning. Is to just destroy Chinese divisions. Now, again, we're, we're not going to deplete their manpower anytime soon. I assume they've got millions. We can take a look at just how much manpower they have. Again, it's going to be a lot. Uh, they have 60.55 million manpower. So you're never going to deplete China of manpower. But you can deplete them of equipment. They don't have a lot of factories. If you just look at their, their factory situation, 46 military factories. That's not a lot because uh, we've taken possession of some of them in these areas. Uh, just in comparison, we have 138 military factories. And uh, they have four of those going towards armored equipment. The rest are all going towards, you know, like uh, artillery guns and infantry equipment, support equipment, that kind of stuff. And so they don't have a lot of factories. Uh, so that's how you how you beat them. You just wear them down on the, the military equipment. All right, so they actually do have one division defending there, but he's pretty weak. So hopefully the two divisions we're sending should be able to get a victory there. All right, so looking pretty good over here. Yeah, maybe we'll just uh, be defending this territory. Advancing right there successfully, won there as well. So just pushing forward like incredibly slowly on the, the Canadian front. And uh, once the Russians capitulate, that's going to be a ton of divisions from our faction that we'll be able to go elsewhere. Now they do keep on sending divisions here. Oh, this division got out. All right, so that's unfortunate. To get the machine assisted encryption, let's go and go after the next one. And we also got the advanced engines over here. Uh, let's go and go after the armor production now. Knock that out in 48 days. And we are losing there. Yeah, not surprising when 11 divisions are attacking. Not surprising at all. I'd really like to just push them back to the port here, so we're going to try and do that. And we'll just stay here and defend. Go ahead and attack these guys here. Support that because I do assume one of those divisions will go over there. So just kind of keep it going uh, with the aggression. And I wonder if these guys are ready to go. Let's take a look at them. Uh, we could have been training those Marines this whole time, but then they wouldn't have been getting the organization up. Uh, there's only one division protecting Shanghai now. Let's go ahead and send them. This is obviously not going to work incredibly well uh, because it's only five divisions here. Uh, but these are some big victory point provinces. Also, there's factories and stuff here we can take control of. So I think it would be helpful uh, to grab that, even if we can't really advance much. And, you know, it pulls divisions off of other fronts. We're stretching them out. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and send this army here. And is this not the right one? It might not be. Is there a different red army? No, there's, this is the red army. There we go. All right, so they're going to go after Shanghai. Only one division def uh, defending this time. Also, they should have the fleet. Yeah, they have the uh, the task force there to help them this time. They didn't have that when we attacked Shanghai last time. So I do expect they should be successful in that invasion unless the Chinese send more troops to Shanghai to protect it. Uh, we are sinking a lot of convoys over here. I don't know if these are troop convoys. They are. Okay, so more Americans dying in the sea, foolishly. We'll take that. Uh, is this Canadian troops? Yep, Canadian troops dying in the sea as well. Maybe they're pulling out of here. That'd be smart if they did that. But yeah, you can see the Americans now have possession of this. So we can take American territory, or excuse me, take Canadian territory. We might be able to push that guy back as well. I don't know. At least we can help with the defense there. Yeah, we can take Canadian territory, and then the Americans can take it, and then, you know, we, it's the same result. The Canadians don't have the territory and thus they're more likely to capitulate. That's what we want to see. Trying hard to get that division defeated, and we just did it. Excellent. Uh, we can try and take this mountain province real quick because there's nobody there to stop us. Uh, though, actually, 
let's send him over there to do that. Because I can see where this tank here might be able to get around them. Alright, looking pretty good. We could probably even defeat this division now because he exhausted himself attacking a mountain province across the river. Uh, here we're just holding on, but maybe we can get this guy destroyed. Go and support this to get it done. Yeah, we'll see if we can't get that unit destroyed. Uh, this is now a, a win since he had to stop the attack. We do have some free military factories, or one free military factory. Uh, so let's go and get this assigned. We'll take a look see how we're doing on equipment. I think anti-tanks is the main thing that we're lacking. I pulled a lot of factories out of infantry equipment, and that was probably silly. Because now we're uh, losing a lot more with all these battles that we got going. Now we still have 40-something thousand, so it's not really an issue yet. Yeah, this is looking pretty good, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and support this. Help that tank out. Try and get the win there. Still advancing towards that province. And it looks like we should be able to win in both of these as well. So let's go ahead and support that attack. Alright, so uh, getting some, some victories over there. Oh yes, the Shanghai invasion. Alright, that just launched. Uh, over here. Let's help out these two defenses. Let's go ahead and attack right here as well. You know what? Let's actually go after that city there. See what we can do. We are not winning here any longer. So let's stop this. I mean, yeah, I really want to win here. They're having some supply issues. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to push them back. So let's just go and stop it. Uh, let's also create a new line here. I'll tell you what, guys, I'm shocked at how well we're doing over here with the few divisions we have. I really thought we would have been pushed back by this point. Uh, that has not been the case, uh, interestingly. Because, again, yeah, I just thought that they would uh, push us back into the sea over there because they just outnumbered us by so many. Uh, let's go ahead and try and get behind this guy so we can wipe him out. And we did take that mountain province. I wonder if we can get over here in time. I assume no. That'd be two days and one hour. What about this guy? One day and eight hours. We'd have to attack that guy to take that. But you know what? We don't need to, to advance right there. I was thinking we could cut them off. Hold up. What if we did it... Do it this way. Attack him just temporarily. Try and get our, our division over there. Uh, we did destroy this division over here. Excellent. So another division wiped out. Progress being made here, guys. Seeing some victories. Killing some Chinese troops. And uh, sinking a lot of cowboys as well. Alright, so we also went right here. Again, just trying to take that Canadian territory to advance it up. And uh, then if the Americans push us back, then they push us back. Just trying to get those Canadians to capitulate. Uh, I don't know where this needs to be at for the propaganda. It might just need to have 1%. Looks like that's the case. So now we can do the propaganda over here and try and reduce the, the stability and war support. Try and get them to capitulate a little bit sooner. If we looked at where Canada's at right now... They're 57% towards capitulation. So we still got a lot of work to do to get that done. Such a bummer the Americans aren't at war with the Canadians. Uh, this guy here is not going to get there in time. Yeah, there's no way. We could try attacking again here in 11 hours. Get him down to 2 or 1 here and then attack. Just trying to get the organization up as high as possible. See where we're at here. 11 hours, so if he can keep a fight going for 11 hours, then we can get over there. And then it's just one attack here necessary to cut off the divisions in this mountain province. The Germans have canceled or lent lease, probably because they don't need it any longer. God damn it. <laughs> What's got left? God, I just hate that they do that. Just stay where I put you, man. Shit. Yeah, that sucks. This guy is going to take this province, but he won't reconnect them. Not yet. Uh, but I was going to attack with this unit, and now he's got to get his organization back up. Because he tried to go off to sea. So that's ridiculous. So now we might not be able to destroy that division. We'll have to see what happens there. We did get the railway gun over here. Let's go ahead and move them up to this city. And they'll be able to provide some support for these battles here as we continue to push forward. What I would really like to do is connect this, which means we need to start attacking over here. I just haven't seen any real openings where we could like, easily win. We could try attacking there. That might be... Nope, even that's not a victory. You try attacking across a river, but that might increase the chances, but it's going to make it more costly as well. Yeah, 
So that one's not going to work. You try attacking over here, but you only have the one division. A lot of this is uh, a good defensive location, but, but not good for advancing because we've got that river there. It's going to hurt us too. Um, hmm. I guess we're going to move this division over here to make sure they can't take that province. But they'll always be able to take this one to reconnect them. And then once he gets there, we'll try attacking with him. Try and help get that done. So they did take that province there and pushed us back here, so that's not good. Uh, overall, we're just incredibly weak, and they're pushing back behind us here. So let's go ahead and cut him off. See if we can do that. He's moving really, really quickly. That's okay. Let's go ahead and attack him then. Let's go ahead and stop these. This clearly isn't going to work. Let's go ahead and pull him back as well. And yeah, we are in a rough position here, guys. Definitely in a rough position because of the sheer number of divisions that they have here. But if we can win here... I don't really care about defending this province here. I guess we can try going here with these two. I don't know if we'll get there in time. But yeah, once again, our, our naval base will be exposed. Uh, we, we haven't finished building up the naval base here just yet. This will be done on the 16th of December, so two more weeks and then we'll have an additional naval base here. I think we were building one over here somewhere too, uh, but clearly that, I think it was this province or something, because that isn't on there anymore. I'm not seeing it. Uh, Japanese troop convoys here that we might be able to get sunk. Hopefully this guy can cut him off so we can destroy him. But yeah, tough fight over here due to lack of divisions. Uh, they're attacking us there, so that's unfortunate. So once he gets over here, we'll have him help out and attack there. We did get to this province here, but it looks like we will not get to that one, so we're just going to have to retreat. Yeah, we just couldn't keep them locked down because they attacked us. So that's unfortunate. I was hoping to get behind them. That just did not happen. All right, so they're attacking us there. We don't have anybody here. Hmm... Yeah, we just don't have enough divisions here. We need more divisions, guys. Uh, let's see if any of these are done training. They're not. Again, could send them without the training, but they have that 25% modifier. So good. Uh, I think those Marines would have done a lot better over there if they had been fully trained. Are these guys ready to go? We're still waiting on the next division. Okay. Just take that island back. Not that it's really needed to. Uh, needed, uh, but we'll take it anyways. No, we should probably have one of these guys support. They're going to hold the province for us. Uh, they are going to retake that province. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we do have another division going over there to assist them, though. But yeah, just taking these Canadian uh, provinces from them. And let's go dip back on over to here. See how things are going. Uh, we can now attempt to destroy this division here. There we go. We should be able to get that done. So another Chinese division wiped out. Uh, we did take this province here that division was really weak. They're attacking us in mountains here, so that can't be going well for them. This is a rough situation over here. But maybe we can get behind them and take that, that port province. I don't think so, though. I think what they got going here is likely uh, all the divisions are sitting on that, that port province protecting it. Not something you usually see them do. Let's try and get this guy destroyed so he doesn't take this province behind us. We're very much exposed right now. Yeah, I'd really like to get that unit destroyed. We could support with this guy, but let's let him get his organization up a bit. Maybe we'll just kind of rotate those out. The invasion of Shanghai is commencing, and uh, they now have two divisions here. But it does look like we should win. Now, uh, we did wipe out that division there. Excellent. So, good news. Losing there, but again, we'll keep it keep it going since it's in the mountains. It's a tough fight for him. Costly fight for him. Alright, so looking pretty good there. Uh, good on these defenses over here. They have not been able to break through there at all. Let's take a look at the battles in the sea. I don't know where their surface fleet is. I assume it's repairing from the damages we've done to it. Alright, so this division is just going to attack them here as soon as they got there and we should be able to retake the province that we just lost. We'll take this one that allow this division to get over here as well. We got these three troops training over here. These are the ones that took all those losses uh, when they went across the seas. Let's go and support here. Try and get that battle done. Looks like they moved another division over there because it just takes so long to move through these states here. Uh, here's a, a battle against a destroyer. How exciting. We did uh, a little bit of damage to it. More troop convoys there. 
There is a naval invasion planned over here. Well, that's not good. Huh. Yeah, that could take the port behind us. Now, we will get a port here in a couple weeks, so it's not that big of a deal. But supply could become an issue because this would be a level 1 port. This is a level 5. Uh, we did take this location, but yeah, exactly what I thought happened here. They have all these divisions just protecting the port. So our chance of, of taking the port behind them is, is near impossible. Uh, so let's just go ahead and retreat. Because clearly that's not going to work. Try attacking them there just to kind of help out on this. Doesn't look like that's going to work, though. Uh, they did sink three of our destroyers. Interesting. Now, we do not have naval bombers here, so that's likely the issue. Uh, so let's get some naval bombers over there. Because the Japanese are back in the seas. Yeah, they're back in the seas, guys. So let's take... See how we want to do this. So we currently have some naval bombers. Uh, okay, so we have 200 there and 100 here. So what we'll do is go ahead and add these guys here, which means we need to, to build up the air base again. All right, so prioritize building that up. Put it up at the top there. And try and get some some air support over here from from some naval bombers so we don't lose our ships oh damn they did push forward there so now we're in a really bad position here it's so going to take both of these divisions uh somebody needs to get there because he's now cut off yeah this is looking bad guys let's have when do these guys get there i'm not too worried about him he's really really weak let's not attack here at all. Uh, let's instead help out with this. And then have this guy come up over here. Oh, that does open up the port. I'm not too worried about it. As long as this naval invasion doesn't become a deadly one. Just want to make sure we keep that. Uh, we should hopefully get this guy here cut off here uh, in, what, about a day or so? Yeah. About a day. And we'll get him cut off and destroyed, so that'll be one more Chinese division wiped out. Taking this province here. Yeah, this is a, a rough situation. How are we doing in the skies? We don't control the skies here. Okay, well, let's do more ground crews there. That's not going to have a huge impact. Uh, basically, we need this air base to be built up even higher. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, we will not build radar or anything like that because I don't know if we're going to keep this area. So building radar, which our enemies might be able to use against us, I don't think would be the best way to do it. God damn it. These guys just keep... It's just so frustrating. Because <sighs> every time they do it... Not only do they give up their territory, but they re completely reduce their organization. They go out into the sea and potentially get attacked. Like, it's just ridiculous. Stay on the damn front. And it's just frustrating. Why would you... If you have a front over here and you destroy some units, why would you not go on the nearest front? Why would you go all the way up here over here? That makes no sense at all. I just hate that Paradox did that. It's one of the, the worst changes in this game uh, that they've ever done since uh, the game has come out. Uh, and I know it was a while ago. Uh, but I'm still frustrated with it. I just do not like that they changed that at all. Wish they would have left it the way it was. Let me control my divisions. Let me tell my divisions where to go. I don't need them to do it themselves. Because they're so bad at it. I mean, if they're at least half decent with it. You know, go where it makes sense to go. The nearest location. Then maybe I wouldn't care so much. It's just how bad they are that makes me uh, frustrated with the mechanic. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and attack over here. Uh, we'll also attack over this way. Still want to do this invasion here, but I don't know that we'll be able to just yet. Because we have to get control of this area here. As you can see, we don't even have our ships over there yet. And it might be pretty risky putting them here because they'll be able to bomb us. So I'm a little bit worried about that. And we might need to move like the tactical bombers to help us out there, but that might not be enough either to really give us enough air support. I was hoping to get more of the American fleet destroyed so we'd only have to face their bombers because they still have 107 ships here, including two carriers. But we haven't really been sinking much of the American uh, fleet in this episode, and I think a big part of that is because they're, you know, not at sea. All right, so this guy has been reconnected. Let's get this one destroyed finally. We have to win here, though, for that to work. Let's go and stop this attack and move the tank over there. Just hold on to it until we get this division destroyed here. Which we should be able to do. This guy's pulling off here, so let's go and leave him here. 
Yeah, this has been a, a difficult balance here, <laughs> trying to, to hold on to that. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot on over to there, and we will attack with these three divisions here. Try and get that air base, get that uh, victory point there. Here's another victory point city. So we'll try and advance here, but what we really need to do is take that province. We're 20 points here. Now with the, the capture of Shanghai, Chinese are slightly closer towards capitulation at 12%. We got a lot of work to do to win here though, and they just have so many divisions. Where did that guy go? Is he getting bombed out here? Yeah, he is. Of course he is. Just so frustrating. So yeah, like how many men and equipment do we lose there? I know it's just one destroyer, but you know, it's it's still, we lost that because they, they went out to sea for no real apparent reason. Like I can't even explain why they, they wouldn't just assign themselves to this, this location, which is the closest one. That's what would make sense. So yeah, very frustrating that they do that. Uh, we did sink a Japanese heavy cruiser. All right, excellent. See how we're doing here, advancing towards that city successfully. So again, we have this little short time here where we can kind of advance and take territory really quickly. Okay, so this would require us to go around that way, so we'll just go here then. But yeah, we don't have a lot of time before they send troops over here. We're about to take that province. We're holding on to here, but we've got to get the win here. We've got two divisions attacking there. He is just about done for. But we have to win here. I don't care about this area, so let's pull this up. Hold up, do we have multiple fronts here or something? There we go. I think I was grabbing onto the offensive line. I'm really hoping we get that guy destroyed. Looks like we had another battle over here. Uh, our planes are here, and we sunk a destroyer. All right, excellent. Yeah, the Japanese are back in the sea. We haven't seen the American fleet much. Yeah, the Japanese are out there. Uh, here's a few ships from the, the Americans, but that's just a small, small task force. Uh, did take this territory here. So I guess this would be the next place to advance. So let's go ahead and attack with these guys here. Uh, frankly, we're gonna need some more troops, so let's go ahead and send those guys in. And these ones here, I think are a little bit too weak on the organization, so we'll just wait. And we'll see if we can't win there. Turn that around. Could push forward here. Kinda want them going over this way, though. Uh, did we win here? We did. All right, excellent. So we'll get that win there. Let's go and attack over here, then. And if we can get this invasion here going, but again, I'm just, I'm worried about the American fleet. And we can't even get, like these guys here, I don't know if I should have them going through here. They're gonna get engaged. Uh, do we have ships here? Like, cause they, they just wreck me when I'm here. We do, but it's only the convoy raiders, I see. Okay, so what we need to do is extend these guys over here. That would really help. I didn't realize we didn't have them over there. That explains why our convoys are getting so messed up going through here. And now we got more troops coming here. So it makes sense to, to get them some protection. Are these guys ready for the invasion? They should be. Uh, well, is this a different zone? It is. Okay. So what we'll have to do, is that enough? It might not be. We're probably gonna have to send all these guys over here. Oh, nope, don't wanna do those guys. Come on. There we go. All right, just to get the invasion going. Now it should be launching. Yeah, so we're gonna take out that uh, island there and, and hopefully they don't bomb us here, uh, which they could bomb us from Florida. Very worried about their, their uh, bombers taking out our ships. Good defense all up along here. Doesn't look like the Americans nor the Canadians can advance here. Uh, good location to cut troops off right here. We can get like a win or even just two here and create the front here. Uh, you know, just kind of cut New England in half. Yeah, that'd be uh, really effective. And then allow us to conquer this area back here with some light tanks, because I don't expect the Canadians to cause us too much issues, and then this invasion wouldn't even be necessary. We'll see. We'll see what we can do there, guys. Uh, I did sink another Japanese destroyer there. Got another destroyer sunk there. Hitting some convoys, too. And hopefully with our, our fleet over here getting some support from the, the planes, they might be able to ensure that there's no naval invasions here. And it looks like we might be getting some support from allies now as well. British Malay is going to help us out there. All right, just not enough divisions over here, guys. 
Nowhere near enough divisions. Let me see if I can't get them to have to fight me here. Probably not. 23 hours. So if we attack them, then we could. So we'll do that. I know we're getting up our entrenchment, but that's okay. And then he'll just go over here. Alright, so need to, to hold out here, but we are... Well, you know, I say we're vastly outnumbered. We're really not because they're keeping those 23 divisions over here. And, and having all those divisions here and not using them is so uh, silly because the, the supply here is just absolutely horrible. You can see they're, they're having supply problems uh, because they're trying to, to supply so many troops. Oh, man, I forgot about this attack over here. But, yeah, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to keep all those troops there and not be doing anything with them. So we'll try and get behind these guys. Hmm. Or maybe we'll go up this way and try and get behind these troops. I don't know. We'll see what we can do here. When do these guys get over to here? Soon. We will not advance here. Not yet. Let's keep these guys over here. Yeah, we'll try and advance into this location here. Actually, let's send both of those over there. Alright, so that one of them will be there soon. We'll go this way. I'm going to try and get these guys cut off as well as those ones. See what we can do there. See if there's anything we need to be aware of here. This front is kind of uh, stalemated right now. We just don't have enough divisions to advance ourselves. I'm not sure what their excuse is, though. <laughs> I guess they should be able to, to advance there. Not really anything we can do here, either. We do have more divisions coming over here. Uh, these guys are providing support there, but not there. If we moved forward a little bit, well, that, that location isn't defended. So we can't move there. Uh, now, you'll notice that there's no rails going up this way. So we would need to get some rails going. I don't know if we're going to do that right now, though. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do that right now. Alright, so just waiting for these divisions to get over there. Matter of hours. And then we'll see if we can't get behind these troops and get them cut off. And then one of these guys will come over to this location. While the other one will come over this way. Nobody defending that province right now. Let's see if we can't get here. He might be able to beat us. Probably not, though. Alright, so we did take over this location here. And that's the new capital of China. And remember, when we take these, you know, it goes into Chinese hands. That's manpower and, and factories that they can utilize. So it's helpful. They can utilize and, and build up with. Alright, so they are attacking across the river here. Okay. Well, we'll get them support soon. And we have two more divisions coming over this way as well. So we'll see what we can do there. Yeah, it's only five divisions there, so I don't expect that to be successful. I'll see if I can't cut that guy off. By getting a win here. Maybe. He need to get his organization up some. Can't get him to stop his attack. He is set on attacking there. Uh, so we're done here. Oh, okay, I see. He got attacked. That's what happened. All right, so we just need to stop this. Good grief. Come on. Stop. Stop your attack. I can't get him to stop. Again, it just feels like they don't uh, comply with your orders as much as they should. All right, so one of these divisions needs to come over here. Yeah, it's definitely a precarious situation on that front, just as it is here as well. I mean, everywhere we are, it's kind of difficult. Uh, we could advance here, but they're about to take a mountain province. I guess we could cut them off, though. Yeah, and if he goes here and just stops them from uh, going any further, that's not that big of an issue. So, you know what, let's go ahead and go here, and then we'll try and take that province behind them. See if we can make that happen. In fact, we'll go all the way up to here, because I think that's going to be how much time we have before they actually move to that mountain province. Now, they did defeat us here, so that's concerning, though I don't see who's moving over there. Maybe they stopped the attack? Yeah, they might have. Alright, so we did sink some, some convoys here, but, you know, our submarines are getting engaged by their fleet. Uh, we just wanted to do this invasion, and we've done it. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull these troops out now, get them going onto this invasion force. And we'll have five divisions do that, rather than just the three. We are sinking convoys all throughout here as well. Uh, so once they get out of there, we'll move our, our ships out so they can't be bombed anymore. Yeah, because I'm a bit concerned about that. 
We are not winning here, but this division hasn't got here yet, but frankly, might as well just cancel this. Just weren't able to get the win there. Uh, over here. Could advance this way, but I don't think that would be wise. So these guys need to move over to these provinces here, and this is where we're going to attempt to do an attack uh, across here and cut them off. See if we can't make that happen with the tank divisions now that they have arrived to assist us. Uh, let's see if any of these guys are done training. Not quite yet. Uh, we're going to speed this up just a little bit. I feel like we can kind of handle this now. All right, so I really want to win there. We finished up the defense there. We're getting pushed back here, though, all across the front. Yeah, we had too, uh, too many divisions to defend against now. So let's go ahead and have both of these guys retreat here now. And this situation just all messed up because of the, the two Chinas. All right, so now let's try and attack here. I know that these guys aren't uh, the strongest here, but we can support with these guys. Try and cut that one division off. Little victories here, guys. Little victories. Um, can we not go there? There we go. All right, let's go ahead and stay here until they take that area. What we'll do is just have them move back this way. Oh, looks like they actually need to go here now. Yeah, just having to micromanage these divisions. We're going to let them have those two provinces. Uh, we did sink a light cruiser and 11 destroyers for America here. All right, excellent. So now that our fleet is actually there, which I, I didn't realize it was just the submarines there, but now the fleet is actually there, we're going to do much, much better. All right, so we're going to try and attack across here, although the best place might be to actually do it here because then you cut off that division as well. Uh, though these are into hills. We'll just do a little at a time, guys. So let's go and attack with the tanks and attempt to push forward into this province here. And uh, that'll cut off any divisions up here. And then also allow us to have freedom to take over this territory here, uh, which we wouldn't even need the invasion in that case, but we'll probably still launch it, even if it is kind of risky. I, I'm a little bit worried about the Americans engaging us, but less worried now that we just sunk those, uh, what was like a dozen ships or so. So they might have less than 100 ships by now. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember what they had. All right, so that did not work. Yeah, they did change this up, so now we can't get out in time. Yeah, that did not work out well at all. Yeah, it worked out horribly, actually. So now we have to do this differently. By attacking there, we might still be able to win there. I don't expect we will be able to, though. Let's go ahead and stop that there. Uh, yeah, this is... It's rough here. Uh, we are getting a lot of allied divisions over here, so this is going to be uh, this is going to help us out. Yeah, we got all kinds of countries here helping us. Uh, I guess they're being pulled off the eastern front, or they've just been built recently. So that'll be uh, big assistance for us. Uh, we should have assisted with these guys here, but it looks like they're being attacked. They got their own problems now. Yeah, we might not even be able to win there. I'm surprised with the uh, number of of American divisions up along this front. It's really not that many. I'm not entirely sure what they're engaged in, where they're fighting right now. But yeah, I was expecting there to be more divisions there. Let's go after the passive bonus, because those you got to build to get the bonus. And uh, we are starting to fight tanks now that we're uh, fighting the Americans. They do have some tanks that I've seen on the front there. So getting the piercing and the heart attack would be helpful. Uh, let's go just go into retreat here. I know it's a mountain province, but uh, this has been exposed for a while, so I've been worried about it. All right, so hopefully, oh, he did get here. Excellent. Um, I think we will win there, cutting off that division. It depends on what happens with this defense here. Uh, we're almost to the 16th, which I believe is when we got the port there, which <laughs> we ended up getting pushed back here anyways. Wow. All right, uh, this division here is cut off, so there's a victory there, I suppose. Uh, we'll just give this area up here, although I really don't want to. You know, we'll defend it by letting that division go over there. And then what we need to do is defend this one here so we can take out them there. Alright, so we'll see what we can do here. Try and get that division destroyed. I won't support with that guy, though. So can we get over there in time? 16 hours? Yeah, we built the port here just to end up <laughs> almost losing it here. We'll see if we can hold on to it. Uh, we do have a division defending there now. We're about to lose that one. Yeah, this is, is such a difficult situation here. Um, this looks so weird. What's going on? 
We got Canada over here. <laughs> What's going on? Is this all territory that was maybe it was occupied by them or something? Yeah, that's strange, but like they couldn't have done the naval invasion. How did they get that but nothing else? That was really weird. You just got Canada occupying this territory here. Alright. So yeah, very strange. We're seeing a lot of green across this front, which is exactly what we want to see. And it looks like we should be able to win there and then destroy this division. I don't know, it's hard to say. Uh, let's, well, if we leave here, then you could easily cut us off. Hmm. Okay, yeah, really not the best way to do it then. Maybe he'll be able to hold out there, but... Yeah, it's hard to say, and we're actually being attacked here now. Okay, so it's good I didn't uh, attempt to move over there. Sunk another three convoys there. Losing a lot of planes over here. That battle cruiser must have a lot of AA on it. Uh, lost a submarine there. Okay. Uh, let's see what we've got built. I assume we've gotten some submarines going. Uh, so let's see where we want to put these. This will be a new task force. A new shark task force here. And where do we want them? Let's put them on to the American one. Get them on the convoy raid in there. And what else do we have here? We got another destroyer. I'll mess with him later. Uh, but yeah, we should have all the ships in their locations now. Yeah, looking pretty good. Though it does look like I messed up the the setup here a little bit, so we'll have to fix that. We'll do that later, though. Looks like they're repairing anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, so we're defending some of these islands here. Uh, we'll see if they launch any further invasions. Uh, that invasion shouldn't launch. Uh, we also won here, but we didn't capitalize on it. So we kind of missed an opportunity here, but it does look like we should be able to take it if we attack him there, because this guy's not going to get there for 17 hours. So just lock that guy down temporarily. And then go ahead and start attacking over here now, since these divisions will be cut off here soon, once we uh, win there. Now, they could, of course, attack us here. Maybe they will. Yeah, that's a possibility. Let me see if I can't attack here and get a win. We'll just lock them down. Even that's good. Uh, they did end up attacking us there, uh, but too late. Uh, so now these guys are cut off. All right, excellent, but we don't know if we'll be able to keep them cut off because this guy right now is, is set to lose here. Uh, we're also defending there. All right, we'll see what we can do here. Yeah, these guys are still waiting on their equipment. They are starting to get it now, though. For a long time, it seemed like they weren't getting any equipment. Oh, Lord. Oh, I forgot about this front here, and we got all of our troops cut off. All right, so this is bad. Quite bad, guys. So let's hurry up and get out of here. Yeah, this did not work out. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to try and break out of here. This is disastrous. This is what happens when you're fighting in too many areas. Alright, so we're going to try and help these guys get free. Yeah, I knew this invasion was going to be risky because we only had five divisions there. Uh, we did cut this guy off, though, so that's a success. Uh, let's go and attack here. Get him destroyed. Again, just kind of destroying Chinese divisions wherever we can. Yeah, I really uh, want to get this cleared up. This is not good. Not good at all. Let's just try and break out with everything we have here. It looks like we should be able to break out there. All right, beautiful. And shouldn't lose any divisions. Damn it. Well, if they keep moving divisions over here, then that won't work. There we go. All right, so looks like we did save these divisions here. All right, excellent. We didn't cut anybody off because I did completely forget about this front. Let's see if we can't get out of here in time. Should be able to, unless somebody attacks us. Yeah, he's going to give up on that. All right, excellent. So this is still not great because we are we allowed this one to get open here. So what we need to do is retreat here. Try and get there before this division. Oh, damn. All right, so he got over there. That exposes us. All right, so this did not work out well because I wasn't paying attention to it, but we did save the divisions uh, from getting cut off at the last minute there. Uh, over here, we wiped out that one division there. Excellent. Uh, we might be able to go ahead and push them back to the port. Let's have this guy come over here now. As you can see, we are getting pushed back here a bit. Uh, so we want to move... This guy over here, and then have him attack right there, just to kind of help out on the defense. Although that's clearly not going to work, so we'll just stop it. Actually, we'll have this guy go over here and him go over here. Alright, so yeah, the China invasions have been 
rough. Very rough. Should be able to take that location back. What we need to do is have him come over here so he can try and wrap up around there. But we'll just have him go right here. Yeah, you just can't get him. Huh, interesting. Yeah, sometimes it lets me make adjustments and sometimes it doesn't. I'm not entirely sure uh, what what determines when it'll let you uh, make an adjustment now. Gotta figure that out though, because I clearly made some some uh, changes to the to the way that works. And uh, I'm not entirely sure uh, what those changes were. I didn't see them on the patch notes or anything. I mean, I just missed it. All right, so let's go and take a look at how this is going before we end the episode. All right, so we have enough divisions over here now to attempt to push those guys back there. Uh, we can also push back here with this division. Uh, so let's have let's have the tank go over here and this division go over here. That looks like that should be a win. You know, we'll push back over here as well. Alright, excellent. So we'll try and get all these American divisions destroyed here. They have no supplies uh, so we should be able to get them completely wiped out. And uh, it's looking like it's a good situation. Uh, also, we're going to want to pull back from this area here. Don't need to uh, protect these guys anymore. The convoys have gotten out, which is the only reason why I had them over there. So let's have, I guess we'll, we'll move over here now so we can do this invasion. Do we have the, the troops here? We do. Uh, they still need to do a little bit of a, uh, well they're also having supply problems, but I think that's because the fleet that's here. Yeah, they gotta get their organization up just a little bit, but yeah, I think we're good. Uh, so let's go ahead and have them come over here and I don't know, we'll just see how this goes. Hopefully we don't lose too many to, to bombers. Uh, so I'm going to try and do the invasion here and see if that works. We'll do that next episode. So little uh, little wins here, guys. Little wins because we just are so short on divisions. Uh, but we do have more training over here, and we got a lot more training over here. If you take a look at our equipment situation, the anti-tanks is, is better. Light tanks might be better. I don't know how many of those are the garrison light tanks. Uh, but, yeah, we can go ahead and, and try building some more troops over here. Yeah, this is not. Uh, those are all garrison light tanks, clearly. Uh, maybe some of these will. Yeah, we can build some more of these. So build them by five. Maybe get another five here. We'll see how that looks. So now we're running low on trucks. Okay, so we don't want to let our trucks run low. Yeah, that would not be good. How are we at here? We'll do two more. Yeah, we don't want to let the trucks run low. Okay, so we clearly need to put more factories into trucks. Uh, we'll take a look at these two convoy battles here. Just sunk some Japanese and Russian convoys. Don't know if we'll be able to hold out there. Uh, we can send that guy into this attack here. Just try and push him back to that one port province and then just defend these two. But yeah, they, they have so many divisions it might not work. I don't know why they're just letting those divisions sit there. I'm not entirely sure what they're doing. It's kind of strange, honestly. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, this will have to be the end of the episode. We'll take a look at the casualties real quick. Uh, so we've taken 404,000, 95,000 of that to the Chinese. Uh, I think that's mainly who we fought in this episode. I guess Canada and America, we fought them as well. Uh, the Russians are ever closer to capitulation. Or you know what? They've been at 92% for a while, actually. Uh, we got 57% on Canada. 2.22 million casualties for Russia total. Against the Canadians, we've done 145,000, while they have done about 41,000. Against Japan, we've now killed 728,000. Yeah, and they're still not on here where we can see them just yet. And I also want to look at the Chinese and the Americans. So we've killed 604,000 of the Chinese, so quite a bit. They've killed 95,000, so still a fantastic kill-death ratio. They're currently 24% towards capitulation, but I do expect we're going to lose some of that territory over there. We've killed 311,000 of the Americans. We've got a lot cut off as well, so that number's going to go up a lot next episode. Uh, well, they have killed almost 40,000 of ours. So very good kill-death ratio against the Americans. So looking at the uh, current war participation, 20% there, 96% against the Americans, 32% here. So we're doing okay getting that getting that up with the the conquest of china it is helping out on the war participation now we do have the army experience to get a land doctrine uh, we have two choices here now we can go down the assault or the infiltration branch so we'll look at that next episode that'll be the first thing we do 
in the beginning. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the end of this one. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. do hope to see you on the next one, which remember, will not be until Wednesday. Our videos for this series will be on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday from here on out. Uh, so I'll see you on that Wednesday episode, and thanks for watching.